The great majority of employee advocacy programs struggle in three important ways. One, low adoption. No matter how many lunch and learns you run, no matter how many training sessions and how many emails you send out, encouraging, asking, even incentivizing your people to join the program and get active on social, adoption tends to be low. I speak to people across a wide range of firms, all across industries and around the world. The problem is chronic, but really what it comes down to is they're not excited to participate. They don't see how it maps to their own success. Low adoption, chronic problem. Number two is low audience engagement. Those that do participate, those that do give it their best shot and they get out there and they start sharing some of that content that you, you bring to them, they have chronically low audience engagement. They get like three likes on a post and it's all from their coworkers. They're not building engagement with their customers or their prospects, or their partners or industry shapers or anyone who can really move the needle on their career or move the needle on their success. With low adoption and low audience engagement, it's a little surprise that the third chronic problem faced by employee advocacy programs, business impact. And program leaders, they get stuck in the middle. I've spoken to so many of them who feel pressed from both ends. They have a hard time justifying up, up to the senior leadership of the firm, justifying their budget and their team and their programs. A hard time showing how it's really helping the firm, but they also have another problem. They have a hard time truly engaging their employees out in the field and making it clear to them how it will help them and they're stuck in the middle as a result. These three problems all stem from the same source, is most employee advocacy programs are built entirely on talking about yourself. They're built entirely on the company's content. They're built entirely or almost entirely on the company's promotional content. We won an award. We have a webinar next week. Oh look, our CEO is in the news. Aren't we great? These things are not particularly exciting to a lot of your people and they're definitely not exciting to your customers and prospects and partners and the market at large. The opportunity here to up-level employee advocacy programs is when we go beyond only sharing corporate content. When we start bringing in third-party content, that's interesting, relevant, and valuable to your intended audience. It's not about you anymore, it's about them. This is how we become audience-centric, client-centric, buyer-centric if we're salespeople. We share content that's not just about us and what we want. We're trying to genuinely educate, inspire, and help our audience and we mix some of our corporate content in there sure it's like a balanced diet we can't just eat one thing we've got to mix it up and when we bring this much more balanced diet of content to the public through social media well it just starts to change everything adoption goes up because now our people are more excited because it really looks better on them as modern professionals when they're sharing a broader assortment of content. Our audience starts to lean in and engage because they don't just see us as advertisers anymore. They see us as, as real professionals who care and then who are sharing content that they value. And these things together drive business impact, help with sales outcomes, marketing outcomes, talent acquisition outcomes, and more. And you know, it's not enough just to curate a little bit of third-party content. Because when we do that, we end up with that awful look-alike sharing. Where a whole lot of people in the firm all share the same article, usually on the same day, often with that same boilerplate introduction that someone in marketing wrote for them, and it looks entirely inauthentic. They look like content robots. They look like Wi-Fi extenders for the company page rather than looking like the modern professionals and the subject matter experts that they are. The employee advocacy programs that are gonna thrive in the future are those that bring a much broader and deeper range of content and make it very, very easy for your people to share it.